One of the big features of Evergreen 3.0 is the web-based staff client, also known as Webby. Most libraries will be using this on laptops and desktops, the same kinds of machines they've always run the staff client on. But a common question I've been asked is, would it work on a mobile device? A mobile version of the staff client is something libraries have wanted since the first popular tablets and smartphones became available. So I'm happy to say yes, it is very functional on a wide range of devices, including mobile ones. Webby is developed and tested for Firefox and Chrome on the desktop, but the compatibility of browsers across platforms and responsive web design means that even without explicitly designing for it, Evergreen 3.0 Staff Client works on every modern device I've been able to test it on. A few features may be dependent on the desktop, such as some printing, but those have more to do with the platform limitations than Evergreen. Okay, I'm going to do that thing they say you should never do, which is a unscripted demo. We are going to go ahead and pull up on a tablet, Webby, uh, webby.evergreen.catalog.com. This is the community test server. As of my recording of this video, it is still in beta, but getting pretty close to release. So I don't think we'll encounter many bugs. And we're going to go ahead and search. I'm not going to show you everything you can do in Webby because that would be largely redundant with all of the documentation and videos about 3.0 in general because the parity is pretty high and you can do almost everything. I'm going to go ahead and pull up this first OPAC search result just to show you that you get these tabs like mark edit, mark view, view holds, just like you would on a desktop. It's already defaulting to the flat text editor, which is sticky, uh, because that's my preferred. Admittedly, cataloging is probably the least likely thing you are going to do on a mobile staff client, but it's nice to have the option available, along with even acquisitions and administration functions. I definitely can see administration functions being used by local administrators who have to handle problems on the go. You have your phone with you somewhere and you get an email that there's an issue and you can pull something up and handle it instead of having to make a note to do it when you're back at a laptop with the client installed, which I think is very nice. Let's also look at a couple of circulation things that I think are especially great about having the staff client available on a mobile platform. I used to be a circulation manager and also in charge of outreach, and something I always wanted to be able to do was send staff out for story times and to festivals and on the bookmobile and have them be able to handle things on the fly. So now, with this, if I were to send staff out to a local festival at, say, a park, and they're walking around discussing library services, and somebody says, oh, but I don't have a library card. Are you sure you don't? Well, instead of making a note, we can check right there on the phone. Oh, here you go, Mr. Robert Smith. And let me go ahead and note that this is stock data, so there's no patron issues. Okay, Mr. Smith, maybe you haven't been in the library in a long time, but let's go ahead and update your expiration. Maybe we'll issue you a new library card. Maybe we'll save your account and clone it and add your children here. So this is a wonderful way to do outreach. Also, you can do circulation itself on this. So we'll, let's say you're doing a story time or you have a bookmobile. You're already juggling a bunch of things. And oh, this one's already checked out. So we're going to forgive fines and do a normal check-in and then check-out. I wouldn't be quite so blase at a real circ desk, of course, but this is just a test server. But you are juggling all these other things, say on a bookmobile. You have books in hands, you have children coming on the bookmobile, you're talking to people, or you're doing story time and you've come in with a big bag of books. Why have to juggle a laptop in addition to that? Now you could simply use a phone or a tablet with built-in LTE. That also makes security issues a lot easier because you can keep things in hand or put them in a large bag that you're carrying rather than worrying half about having to bolt down electronics somewhere. You can even edit items on the fly. So let's pull up the, I, the item status. We'll put in that same item we just checked out. 
and view it. Let's go to detail view. And here we can edit items. I really love this for inventory because now instead of having to carry a cart around and block up aisles to scan things, you can do it directly with a mobile device. And I know some people are concerned about having to type in a bunch of barcodes, but I've tested this on a number of mobile devices with both USB adapters for barcode scanners as well as Bluetooth ones, and they work great. So the mobility is a wonderful option there. And of course, I think one of the most basic functions that's useful is the holds shelf. You can pull up the holds shelf and look at holds lists on the fly with mobile devices now. There's not much data here because it's a test server, but this, instead of having to go back to a workstation, print it, you can look at it as you go. Okay, so that was just a small taste of what's available because I don't want to duplicate all of the documentation about 3.0, but I want to thank you for joining me for this video and be on the lookout for more videos on the Evergreen Road to 3.0 series. Thank you and have a good day.